disappears out of sight. Yo, he checks out the basement, shit. but there's no one there. No, pause it, bro. Then strangely, pause it, bro. he hears the voice of what sounds. Pause it, bro. My chabs hurt, bro. Bro, that, bro. What's up, JK fam? And we back with another Kaka video, guys. Kaka Sunday, guys. We're super excited. We're super, super excited to bro. do Kaka with See my you favorite all. time of the day, bro. Straight up, man. Of the week. Not it's bad. a it's a nice pace though because it, we we produce a lot of content for for the channel and and when it comes to Sundays, I feel I, like it's. it's I want to do three times a week. I want to do three times a week, and and guys, I know you guys want to do three. Even times. my people at work, bro. They're, yeah, for sure. For sure. Like and we want to say, Frank, guys, yo, free Frank. He's yo, like, yo, I need caca to today, bro. So we want to say thank you guys for the 300,000 subscribers. If yo. you guys are watching and, uh, you know, we want to, we want you guys to comment below and let us know what days is best because we're thinking Sunday, Wednesday, Wednesday, and I think Tuesday. No, you just get Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday. Guys, you let us know. Three days. We want to do it. We're gonna obviously gradually get to that point. Um, we're still working full time, so the work is is a little time consuming, and, and it's, you know it's hard for us to produce yeah, true. so much content. Bro, but no more coffee, bro. me too. But it wasn't that good though. But we want to say that we're we're, we're we're grateful for everything you guys are doing for the bros and and the channel. We and love guys, that you guys enjoy the scary stuff. Last week was good. The last video. Two two times in a row it was really back to back. It was really good. So this one is is top is five top scary ghost, ghost videos that, that are not for the squeamish, and people who throw headphones. No, no headphones nah, throwing, ready, bro. So let's pop it in, guys. We're super thrilled to have you here with us, and thank you again for the three hundred thousand. Spread the word. The JK Bros are here to stay. Spread no the hacker word. can stop us. If you saw Make what happened on Make it a better channel. With for you fam. and for us and uh, yeah, you know, community, we can do caca and creep. I just do this, bro. I'll just do that, guys. We'll back it up a bit because I need the logo. But let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, bro. I'm tripping, bro. Let's go, bro. Okay. Five ghosts fall on camera when the walls come tumbling down. Uh -oh. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies are back on a new investigation no, that brings them to an old abandoned train. Huh? I'm gonna move this a bit because it like fucks up my view, bro. Station in Piney, Manitoba, Canada. Oh! The Piney train station oh! was closed in the 1960s. In the 1980s, a tormented local man named Dennis drank himself to death in the abandoned Piney train station. Locals believe that his spirit wow. haunts the station to this day. People have seen unexplained shadows in the windows of the train station and curious explorers who dared to go inside would feel a presence watching them. The paranormies Jordan and Johnny set out to investigate whether the stories are true. Once inside the Piney train station, the two friends realized just how badly decayed the building is. The roof yeah, actually bad. seems like it's about to collapse. Well, it's the first time I'm hearing this song on his video, bro. Usually it's the... the dun, dun, dun. What's up? Why are you looking at me like that? Because we want the caca. Okay, guys, ready? Yes. The roof actually seems like it's about to collapse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, my God. God. Was, that, was that upstairs? No, that's outside. Man, it sounded like a piece of the house just busted off. What? That might have been it, because look at the roof. <laughs> was that a piece of the house, or was that you? Jordan and Johnny aren't sure whether they just captured something paranormal, or something might have fallen from the ceiling. But the longer they're inside, the stranger the unexplained sounds become. Oh my god. Nah, bro. Holy <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Sound like glass shattering. This time the Paranormies team hears the sound of glass shattering somewhere inside the old train station. But again, they can't quite place where the crash came from. But the next sound they hear is even creepier. She was saying he's so emotional. That's footsteps. Matter. That's 
Some footsteps. Go, 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 go. Hang on, hang on. This thing is going off right now. Dennis. Dennis. That's loud, dude. That is really loud. Up. No, don't. Why are you going up? Jordan bro? and Johnny hear footsteps bro. coming from right above them on the second ah, floor. The However, when they go up to investigate, there's no one there. Really? But the two explorers do find the source of one sound they hear. And it is absolutely terrifying. All the like the people that are coming through this place. React. What's that? React. How's that? What is that, man? Dude. What's happening? The door handle bro, probably, bro. Hang on. Is that, is Dude, that? And it just stops. The lock on the door is eerily shaking back and forth on its own. When the investigators get close to the door, the fast paced rattling mysteriously just stops. Jordan and Johnny decide to do a sensory deprivation session. Jordan covers his eyes and puts headphones in his ears so that the only thing he hears are the answers coming through their spirit box. Meanwhile, Johnny asks questions to the spirit of Dennis that might be haunting the abandoned train station. They get some strange answers. But then, something even more shocking happens. Oh. Uh, shit out. Here. Here? That was you? You're here? If you can make that noise again. I heard K2. If you can make that noise again, I'll check the K2. The if you can orbs. make that noise again, let us know. In here. We'll come over there. Sweep. How can they stay there, bro? The tension uh, is real, bro. There's a noise over there. Fuck. Oh my god. Did you see it? The, shadow? Oh, the bizarre fire. silhouette of what looks like yeah. the upper half of a person can be seen slowly yeah, forming yeah, in the that. hallway. I thought it was somebody When Jordan up. shines his flashlight on the eerie figure, it disappears. Oh, yeah, obviously Eventually, the guys huh? decide to set up a Ouija board to communicate with the spirit. It did not go well. My Why are we jump point? Have we learned? Did you move? It looks like it. Oh it's my crooked. God. Really? No, it's still over right over. It's right over T, but I thought it was straighter before. What's that? The light just died. Yes. The light just died. Was that you, Dennis? The thing was fully charged. Might be using the energy. Oh, dude! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Bro, bro, the caca. It sounded like everything was falling apart. Holy oh, oh, The light on their camera dies even though the battery is fully charged. And then the guys have to make a run for it as the station suddenly starts to fall apart all around them. They grab their camera, leave the Ouija board, and just get out of there. So did the Paranormies capture supernatural evidence that proves yeah, that yeah, the Piney train definitely. station is haunted? Did they capture the ghost of Dennis's lingering soul on camera? The last or fight was, uh, is it all just an elaborate the hoax? Last fight was scary, bro. As always, you decide. Could have ended up really you bad, can watch bro. this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Caught on camera. On camera. This next video was sent to me privately by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Mary Therese Pagai from the Philippines. In her email, Mary says that she's a nursing student and that she was at home with her brother recording a demonstration video for her final oh, we exam. This. We saw this one already, then, I think. Then, this happened. Yeah, yeah, we saw this one. There you go. Okay, na? Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verified the client's... Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explained the procedure, and asked for his consent, Verify the client's identity and provide. Oh no, it's on. Say, but I'm busy now. Sina, sina, sina. What are that? One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, 
now that I have introduced myself to the big head. We saw this, no? Yeah, the light flickers for a second and then just off screen, the closet door forcefully slams open on its own, scaring Mary and her brother so much that they run from the room. In a follow-up video, Mary shows the closet that yeah. burst open and the story gets truly bizarre. So this is where it all began and this is the cabinet. And I'm actually very afraid to touch it or open it. I'm very sorry for the mess. So as you can see, this cabinet is full of clothes and no person Something can there, actually huh? oh my gosh fit inside here and this is where my brother stood and this is the light switch you remember what so happens my brother i don't was, remember um, what happened videotaping me oh, filming filming here i was standing here and my brother was standing here and the lights actually started to flicker before the cabinet opened and actually before that we were actually experiencing um weird things oh my gosh i'm very i'm sorry i'm very scared yeah for sure but You're this is edgy. what it looks like inside there's a head in there for sure something like that bro. Po. No, no person can shit, actually bro. fit inside here. It was actually me and my brother inside this room. And right oh, what, now, I'm not sleeping again? inside this room. I'm sleeping in my parents' uh, room. Mary explains that she is now too scared to sleep in her own room. And maybe she should be. Because during the recording of her follow-up video, a strange voice can be heard. You heard and actually, voice. before that, we were actually experiencing um weird things yeah i heard the grudge scrawling thing but now stop. mary has a youtube channel but her videos are entirely dedicated to her nursing education and have nothing nice. at all to do with the paranormal furthermore mary says that she's always been a skeptic and before these videos nothing paranormal had ever happened in her home as for me personally i'd have to say that she genuinely looks terrified in this clip but what do you think? What remains? Urban explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill travels to the city of Warren, Urbex. Ohio to explore the long abandoned St. Joseph Riverside Hospital. The sprawling medical facility was established in the 1960s. And as with any old hospital, One thousands of patients passed away inside its walls. We seen? Many people believe that some of those patients never left. Because, you see, the St. Joseph Riverside Hospital is said to be extremely haunted. Chris enters the old decaying building, what? and as he explores the hospital's cluttered hallways and rotting rooms, he captures some very strange sounds. That looks really Is that a fart? Sorry. Later, and on a completely different floor, he hears something again. Is that a gorilla? I thought I heard something. Now, I'm not sure exactly what these odd sounds could be. Gorilla. Obviously, it might be anything from animals inside the hospital to just some very odd building settling noises. Or possibly even something paranormal. But either way, Chris just shrugs it off and completes his exploration throughout the entire St. Joseph Hospital. But later on, after Chris uploads his video, you again, observant Costa. YouTube viewers spot something that Chris didn't even notice. Like what? Something downright chilling. chilling. Yeah! Yo, you saw that? No. On the door. I don't know if that was it. I don't know, bro. 
Wow. You got scared from a blur. Yeah. Oh, it's flooded. Did you see it? Yeah. There. It's yeah. very yeah. easy to miss, but what appears to be a hand or arm can be seen quickly disappearing behind a door frame. Chris has no idea what he's just captured and passes right by the door and continues on to explore the flooded rooms down the hallway. That's what it caught his attention, so man. Just what that door, bro. Look at that. Is this? Wow. Could it simply be a squatter who is living in the old deserted building? What or squatter, could it bro? be one of the spirits that roam the old hospital hallways? Well, Let me know what hat, you think. Bro. You can watch this entire video and many Damn. more explorations of creepy abandoned buildings over on the YouTube channel, okay, Urbex okay so far. Hill. It's, uh... If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok, okay, let's go TikTok guys, let's user go. Dino Nugget 741 Dino claims Nugget that ever since he saw a quote voodoo lady in New Orleans seven years ago, that something followed him home and that the entity has not left him alone ever since. He says that the mysterious spirit even follows him when he moves to a new house. Why would you go see a he records lady, his bro? terrifying experiences and posts oh, them to TikTok. No, bro. I One night that, in an bro. attempt to cleanse his brand new home in Colorado with Sage, the TikTok user captures something absolutely horrifying. Bro, that's a joint, bro. I'm not afraid, man. <laughs> Sorry. Dog, don't go downstairs. Don't go. Come on out, man. Oh, yes. Hello. The dog is going down, bro. Bro, we need a dog, bro. The dog helps. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mommy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mommy! As he opens the door to the basement, a dark figure can be seen standing oh. at the bottom of the staircase, oh. just kind of staring up at him. When he turns oh. on the light, the figure disappears out of sight. Yo, he checks out the basement, have... but there's no one there. Oh, pause it, bro. Then strangely, pause it, bro. he hears the voice of what sounds... Pause it, bro. My chabs hurt, bro. Bro, that, bro. I'm always scared when it's down. Bro, when was I was that a dog or a girl screaming? That was a dog. That was a girl screaming. The dog, bro. The look dog at, was. Look at this. I don't want to see this, A dark figure can be. Bro, just chilling and looking, look bro. At, Seen look standing at, at the bottom of the. Look at this. Staircase, just kind of staring up at him. When he turns on the light, the figure disappears out of yeah, sight. Yeah, it was a girl's he voice. Checks out no? the basement, but there's no one there. Oh, is it and the strangely, dog? he hears the voice of what sounds like a laughing woman from upstairs. And the door slams shut. Bruh. So is it real? Or is this bizarre haunting just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out more of his paranormal encounters over on I his did, TikTok page and YouTube channel. You I, did caca more than yeah, I did, but bro, that was I, good caca. Yeah, that was a solid caca. That's like as if you ate a steak, man. Caca. Mm. You know, good protein, good nutrients, veggies in there. The dog, bro. Poor dog, bro. Why do they have to experience that shit, bro? That was a big ass sage too, huh? I don't know, guys. So far, that was the best one. So I keep seeing comments saying that the original video is on Nuke's top fives. Uh, if somebody has the link to that, could you please send it to me? Because I, I can't seem to find it. TikTok user Dom Matigan says that his family home in Chicago was built in 1929 and that the original owner, a man named Richard Spencer, took his own life after he suffered financial ruin during the Great Depression. For years, Dom and his family have heard the strange sounds of footsteps, knocking, and even banging inside their home. The family believes that the ghost of Richard Spencer haunts the home. One night around 11 p.m., Dom is home alone when suddenly the angry ghost makes a terrifying return. Dom grabs his phone and starts to record. I'm literally home alone. Listen to how loud and aggressive it is. Bro, 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 bro. Leave. <laughs> that was a good one. Good reaction. That's why we're moving. Now, obviously Dom doesn't seem to be frightened at all by the incident, but Dom explained that he's heard the banging so many times now 
that it doesn't even really scare him anymore. Weeks later, it happens again, and Dom is ready. Okay, so we're back in the house, and every few seconds, there's another- Trash! Oh! <laughs> what? Yeah. Bro, let it play, bro. What happened? What moved, bro? Something moved. There's another- Okay, oh, Get man. the f*** out of here. Ah. Get the f*** out of here. here. He runs toward the door and opens it. But again, no one there. Intrigued TikTok viewers wonder what would happen if Dom started to knock back. Another night, and Dom decides to test it out. Bro, yo. Okay, so I'm just, I'm trying to get ready for bed. Bro, this guy has balls, bro. And there's another one. So, no, I guess there's nobody there, bro. Cause that. Everyone's been asking me to try and knock back. <laughs> you f***ing dick. Dom steps outside and knocks on the door himself, but the response actually comes from the closet door next to him. These days, Dom says that instead of being scared by the haunting, it has actually started to become a tiring nuisance. Dom is currently making plans to move to a new house. So is Dom's family home haunted by an angry ghost? You decide. You can find more of his paranormal experiences over on the Stop YouTube channel one. and TikTok page, Dom Matikin. He's Armenian. So last week I featured the story- He's Armenian, bro. He's not Armenian, bro. Put it back, I bro. I-A-N. That's the way his name ends, bro. He's Armenian. Not necessarily, but that's usually, well. Bro, you heard the banging, eh? I swear to God there was a banging, bro. She's just sleeping here, bro. Let's go. What? Yeah? Page Dom Matigan. So last hey, week, I featured again. the story of Maddie Bark, who believes that a dark entity followed her home after she went on a paranormal investigation at a cemetery. Why? Why? Oh, remember that? Maggie? Yeah, this was the Maggie? freakiest shit oh ever, God. bro. Maggie? Yo! Oh my God. Did that see? creeps me out, oh God, bro. Oh Maddie says that she often sees a creepy translucent figure on the property remember around her home, seemingly getting closer and closer to the house. Since the video, Maddie went on a TikTok live stream ghost investigation in her own backyard in an attempt to capture the bizarre figure again. Her live stream viewers are shocked when they see something that Maddie oh, wow. just can't we, we see. So the these are the like trees this. that keeps getting foggy. You saw that? And oh. it's actually kind of clear. Uh -huh. well, obviously, you can't see the sky, but it's like super clear. Whoa! Oh. The same strange pale translucent yeah. apparition seems to okay. appear right in front of Maddie, but. What do you think? You can follow Maddie's paranormal experiences over on her YouTube channel and TikTok page, Maddie Bark. The Red House. Can paranormal the investigator Red Kevin Barranco from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto travels to Guadalajara, this. Mexico to explore the historic La Casa Colorada, nah, which translates to the Red House. The house was built in 1923 and for years functioned as military barracks before becoming a hospital. The hospital was eventually closed down and the property was left empty and abandoned. Beats, guys, Stories beats. circulated yeah, that the remote it. and secluded location became a place where cults performed dark rituals. Curious visitors claim yeah. to have seen witches, demons, what? and the skeletal female figure of Santa Muerte, a Mexican saint who is said to wear a long cloak and be the personification yeah, of death itself. Kevin is joined by his friends as they explore the creepy location, but the group begins to get a little nervous when they hear odd noises coming from all around them. They we? I don't think so. Ay, Ay, joder. Joder. No mames, escuché un ruido de acá de este lado. ¿Dónde wey? fue? ¿Dónde fue? Ay, cabrón. No, tranquilos, tranquilos, tranquilos. Ay, no me saqué. Tranquilos, tranquilos. The group finds strange symbols and words written on the walls inside the structure, both in Spanish and oddly in English too. And again, they hear something 
Sí, esto es bastante interesante. Es una palabra en inglés que no voy a mencionar en estos momentos por cuestiones de protección hacia nosotros. Pero de dentro de las palabras, de dentro de esta palabra, hay, hay un nombre muy... Acá se escuchó algo. Sí, bien cabrón. Oye, ¿lo escucharon? ¿Escuchaste? Sí, bien clarito, güey. No sé si la cámara lo captó. The camera seems to capture the sound of an unexplained deep breath coming from somewhere in the darkness. Yes, it is. As they continue investigating the writing on the walls, they capture something downright chilling. Chilling. Yo, two and two, big bitch. Ahí. I remember Francis. the lady in death. Yeah, I remember the lady red. The muerta girl. La verdad es que no desconocemos el significado y la verdad es que no no queremos saber sobre ello. Aquí hace mucho frío, ¿eh? Sí, hace bastante. What appears to be a cloaked figure can be seen walking inside the structure, but the Archivo Extinto team are completely unaware of what they I'm, have I'm just captured. I'm still unaware. I'm still unaware. So could it be that Kevin yeah, and his team oh, captured there. the apparition of Santa Muerte, we the cloaked this. lady of death? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh. You can watch this full scary three-part investigation over on the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto. Extinto. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here. Follow me on Twitter here. And then, apparently, there's oh, also good. a TikTok. Whatever. Oh. It was okay. Anyway, it was okay. I'll see you next week. But I want more, bro. Yeah, I definitely need more caca. You guys know. You guys know. Two videos we saw in this. Two videos we saw in this, yeah. With two, vi two videos we saw in this one. I think, I don't remember the... I remember the Muerta girl, but I just don't remember that sequence, you know? I remember the Filipino girl. Yeah, that I remember too. Still, again. It was okay. It was in the. It was in Kaka, bro. Guys, and and the comment was saying that this was very Kaka. It was okay. It was. Okay. I think the best one. The best one was, was the, the sage guy. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that. I don't like things going down. You have to go down or up. Yeah. Um. I appreciate the 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 elaboration on the guy with the door. Uh, yeah. I felt that one was really interesting too, and the one too, bro. and uh, seeing the, the the clip of the door and that creep thing coming out, I think that one still, no matter what, always will always creep the shit out of me. And um, guys, let us know more caca, bro. Please let us know, and like we said, we are gonna be doing more. more. We are gonna be doing a lot more. When we promise. And again, thank you so much for the 300,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much for the love, the love support, you guys. But and, guys. And, and and supporting us. And guys, if you haven't seen the video, we did a Q and A. You guys asked us questions, we answered, and uh, and that's it, bro. And that's it. We'll see you guys. guys I hope you have a nice Sunday. Yes, but guys. If you're new to the channel, make, make sure, sure you to subscribe, like, comment, the whole package. But the JK, JK Bros, we gotta, gotta go. go. We'll see, see you on the, the next video. video.